What's up guys, Iovo here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own lower thirds for your videos. Now, these things have a lot of different names. It's basically the pop-outs that come out out of the sides of the videos, and they can be called lower thirds, moving annotations, pop-ups, shout-outs, or just the leave a like things. Uh, there's a bunch of names for them, and today I'm going to be teaching you how you can make your very own ones in Photoshop. It's actually really easy. So with that being said, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to File, New, and Create a New Document. Now, the resolution is going to be the resolution of your videos. So if you do make videos in 1080p, it's going to be 1920 by 1080 pixels. And if it's in 720p, you just change it to 1280 by 720. And just make sure the background contents are transparent and click on OK. So once you have the document created, the first thing we're going to be doing is creating the actual rectangle in which the text will be placed. So what you want to do is go ahead and click on the rectangle tool. And for now, we're going to make the fill white and have no stroke. And the rectangle can be any size you like. And we're just going to put it where this actual shout out is going to go. So say I wanted the shout out over here. I would just draw the rectangle around like that. And there we go. Now, if you want it to look nicer, you can change the colors up. In this case, we're going to make a leave a like button. So I'm going to actually change the fill to a green color um, and find one that I like. So maybe a bit darker and that looks good. There we go. And I'm also going to give it a stroke, which is going to be white and make it about, I don't know, 7PT. And there we go. That looks nice. Now, if you want to make the rectangle even fancier, you can go ahead and right click on the rectangle layer, go to blending options, and you could give it a gradient. So if you wanted to give it like a metallic gradient, you could just select a black and white gradient and change the opacity to 10%. And now it looks kind of metallic, which is pretty cool. You could also give it a bevel and emboss and some other stuff as well. So as you can see, the bevel makes you look kind of 3D and then just press OK. Now, the next step is to create a new layer and actually add the text. So what you want to do is go ahead and go to the text tool and just click and type in whatever text you want it to be. So I'm going to change the color to white. I am going to make the size a bit larger and I'm going to change the font to Chinese blocks, Chinese rocks. And I'm going to put leave a like. There we go. That is our text. Now what you want to do is go ahead and take whatever text this is and you want to align it to the actual rectangle. So you are going to control click on the rectangle layer to select the rectangle and then make sure the text layer is selected. Then go to layer, align layer selection, vertical centers to, to vertically align the text to the rectangle. If you want to horizontally align it as well, go to layer, align layers of selection and horizontal centers and it will also align it horizontally. And once you're done to deselect, just press Ctrl D. Now I'm going to make the rectangle a little bit smaller because the rectangle seems a bit too long for the text right now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the rectangle layer, press Ctrl T, hold Shift, and just make the actual rectangle a little bit smaller. And there we go. Now what you can also do is add some effects to the text as well. So you can right click on the text, go to blending options, once again add a gradient, maybe a black and white gradient with an opacity of 10%. So the font looks kind of metallic and you could also add a drop shadow or a bevel and emboss once again, it's completely up to you. Now, as you can see, we're actually almost done making the social shout out or the lower thirds. All we have to do now is just add an image. So all you want to do is go ahead and go to Google images and search for an image. So say you were making a Twitter shout out, you would just search for Twitter logo PNG and get one that's a solid color like this and then just save it. But we are looking for a like button. So we're going to search for like PNG and look for like a thumbs up button. And I am going to pick this one because it's a solid color. I'm going to go to view image, right click, save image as, and save it as leave a like. All right, so now we're back in Photoshop and we have to actually place the image. So you wanna go ahead and go to file and place and then just put in that image. So you're going to go find it. So mine was in the download folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click on downloads and locate the file and then click place. And as you can see right now, it's a little bit big. So you want, all you want to do is go ahead and hold shift and then resize the image. And by holding shift, it's going to stay in proportion until you get it to the size you want it to be. And that looks like a reasonable size. Now I'm also going to tilt it a bit so it looks a little bit fancier and then press the check mark. Now we're going to go ahead and make this image actually match the button style. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go back on the rectangle layer, select the rectangle tool. And here you can see what color the rectangle was. So 
I'm going to go ahead and actually copy the color code for the rectangle by pressing Ctrl C. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back into the leave a light button, right click, go to blending options, and give it a color overlay, and make sure the color is actually the same as the button color, like so. So now it actually matches the box. And now what we can do is go ahead and add a stroke to the button as well, the like button. So we're going to go ahead and click on stroke, and we're going to give it a white stroke. So everything matches like so, and we'll make it a little bit thicker. We'll make it like 5PT or 4PT. And then we can also add a bevel and emboss. Actually, no, I think it looks better without. And there we go. And there we go. We're already done the actual image. So as you can see, there is a lot of experimenting. You guys can just mess around with some of the settings and find images you like. But once you're done, just go to File, Save As, and save the image as a PNG file and then just click on save. So I'm going to call this like lower thirds and click save and we're done. So now I'm going to be showing you how to actually add this into Camtasia. So I have the image right here, which I got by going to import media and selecting the image. Now if I drag this onto my timeline and actually play the video, as you can see, it'll start playing. And then once the lower thirds comes, it's actually just going to come as an image and it's not going to slide in. So what I do is I go into the transitions and I go to slide right and then put that at the beginning and then put slide left at the end. So it'll slide in through the right and then slide back through left and it'll look like it slided in. So if I play now, you can actually see that it slides through like so. And then it also slides back out like so. And there we go. And you guys can do this in all of your softwares as well. I'm pretty sure Vegas has the option and so does After Effects and Premiere Pro. So it's really, really simple to implement into your videos. And yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Ovo, and I'm signing out.